Okay, it's got the factorised number for me, and it's prime factors. 972 can be written as 2 times 3 squared times 7 squared times 11. It's written as some of the factors of 972. And I can get all the others by using these factors. I've got to find two more. Well, it's given me 1, obviously, 2. It's given me 3. It's given me 6, 2 times 3. It hasn't got 9. I've got, I've got 9 in here, because that five squared, that 3 squared will give me 9. So it could have 9. I could have that 9 times that 2 which is 18, so I could have had 18. I've got the 7 in there, I've got the 11 in there, but I haven't got 7 squared in there, so 7 squared in there is 49. So I could have 49. There's loads of other ones which I could have found by combinations there which aren't included here. Find the highest common factor of 210 and 9702. Well, we know what the prime factors of 9702 are, so we just do the same with 210. And I would call that 21 times 10. 21 is 3 times 7. And 10 is 2 times 5. And so putting it in order is 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. And I'll underline it in red the things which go in both. Well, 2 goes into both of them. And we've got one of those threes, not two, not only one up here, because there's only one down here. We've got haven't got a five here, but we've got a seven up there and there. So it's going to be two times three times seven, which is six times seven, which is forty-two. Gwen says that 45 is not a factor of that. Uh, explain how you know she's correct. Well, 45 has got a 5. So 5 is a factor of 45, but not 9702. And therefore it's not a factor of 9702. And that's it. That's question 2 done.